Hello, traders. John at StockBookie.com. Today, we're looking at the SPY, the IWM, the Qs, the DIA, the IYT, the USO, the UUP, and the GLD. We file the daily, weekly, monthly timeframes. We use technical analysis here at StockBookie.com. Follow us on Stock Twits and Twitter, and subscribe to us on our YouTube channel. All right, guys. Daily SPY. Uh, we were up what 64 cents on the day. You know, we're we're we cl we're trying to get above this um, big red candle and stick with it. Um, it is uh, bullish consolidation above the MAs. Let's see if we move up. If we do, then we have some resistance coming up in here and around the 230, the 229 area. And then you have double top back here, and then the 227.12 spot as well. Let's get over that first. If you look at the uh, 10 minute time frame today, a little bit crazy action. You had Donald, the, the Donald Trump. Every time Donald Trump's going to have a press conference, expect some volatility, guys. I mean, so far, first one pretty crazy so look for that but if you go to the 60 minute chart <clears throat> you can see a little bit better so you know short term we found we found some support in this area too you had the gap window down in here as well great trade here guys today the first hit of this down area and then they pushed it up and then it came back and retested and did it again you, you can't ask for more these are going to be a trader's market guys so get ready for some volatility and some setups and some trading uh, we're going right back up into this upper trend line. This is the 60 minutes. So watch for this, the guys. Unless the only thing I can see, see how you have big resistance right in here? They'll gap this thing over in the morning. So expect an open up. Well, where did it close today? Last 22. Yeah, oh, 2237 or so. This is the 60 minutes. So if they do that, we'll probably go for double top up here, maybe 228. 22834 was the high. So uh, look for that tomorrow and tomorrow's action. If we gap down, then we'll play it from there. But that, you know, typically they're going for the gusto, guys. Dow 20K, here we come. <laughs> here we come. Hype. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to even hype it. We're almost there, guys. You got to stick with it. It's going Dow 29,000. But uh, bullish pattern above the MAs. Nothing wrong on the daily, on the weekly. Oops, that's the monthly on the weekly chart. We're three days into the week. Nothing wrong with that as well. But we are consolidating in a bullish manner up here above the MA. Strong. We are a little bit stretched from the 20, so I'd watch out for that. So if we do pop, I don't know how much more we have in it. And plus, we have this major trend line coming in here and then another one coming back from uh, 2008, actually. So you got to watch for those. So right now, nothing wrong. If, you, if, you, if you're long, just, just you know, be wide-eyed in these markets and <laughs> just keep an eye out. Uh, all right, let's go to the IWM. Daily, same thing, chopping around, up and down, up and down, trying to get above this trend line. Uh, right now, we did close above the uh, moving averages, so we're back above that. Let's see if we can attack the trend line, get above that, and then you got, got to start getting above these highs up here. So right now, nothing wrong. We back above all the moving averages just like they want it. You know, just if you're long, just tighten the stops, just get ready. We could break out if we do. We're looking to get, you know, across, you know, I'm going to say the 140 area, 141, and then maybe the 145, maybe 150. I don't even know at this point, guys, if this thing goes out. There's, we're really in no man's land. So then you just do quarter numbers, 140, 145, 150. You know, you could do 142.50. You know, that's kind of a quarter number, too. So if you want to look at that, too. So you got to pay attention to those areas. If this thing comes back down and comes back in, I mean, you can make a case that it's, it's slightly bearish here as well, but you know, still nothing wrong with this stuff. <clears throat> Weekly chart, a little bit different. You're kind of in an inside bar pattern here. Nothing to worry about. Still above the moving averages. Still inside this big green bar here. Nothing wrong, but you just got to keep an eye on that. We are back above that trend line and back above the uh, the 618 or the, well, you could call it the 382 coming in from, from the top to bottom. So right now, uh, nothing wrong with this. Just uh, stick with it. Make sure you have stops in and then go from there or a mental stop. You know, just know where you got to get the heck out. Because if you're in this thing from, you know, down in here, down in there, you got to take a little bit off the table here and just let it pull back. If you want to get into Russell again, buy it back 10 bucks cheaper or something. So. So that's the IWM. So let's get into the Qs. Qs again, making all-time highs, just terrorizing the markets. Leading the way now. Was lagging, then leading. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days up. We are above this trend line, so it's a little bit strong. I want to see, I want to see more conviction, guys. I know I've been saying that for a while. It's just been grinding higher. That's just the markets we have. That's what you know, we we trade what the we're we're given, basically. And right now we're above that. Go to the uh uh, let's go to the weekly real quick. Weekly, we did close above. I want to see it close above in this area, maybe 124, 125, and then maybe higher prices. But, you know, I want to see that we make sure we get above this line 
and uh, stay above it and uh, confirm and then possibly higher prices again we're going up on no volume so that that's kind of like uh you know they're giving it the one gusto and if they do give it the one good push maybe maybe we go to 130 who knows just to really go holy cow this market's never stopping so just beware you know if you're short positions i have some short positions out there each and every day i'm pulling some off and taking it from there uh dia the IA, same thing, nothing wrong. Weekly chart, you're still watching this tail, needs to get above and close, and then possibly higher prices. But again, consolidating above these moving averages, above all the trend lines, nothing wrong with this thing on the weekly. You go to the daily. Daily, same thing, came back then, popped up, we're back above all the moving averages, we're back to almost almost double top, you know, it's trying to make that run. What are we away? Uh, 40, 46 points and some change. To uh, Dow 20,000, man, they're just keeping everyone on. It kind of reminds me of this. I mean, do we do the same thing where we just chop around, chop around, chop around like we did up here? One, one more leg, and, you know, this is up and bullish. This is slightly bullish. You got above the MAs, and it was a Trump rally, you know, or does it do this, and then it fails, you know? So yeah, we're just in that time frame, guys. Just be careful if you're long. Again, weekly chart, nothing wrong with it. So uh, IYT. IYT, same thing, but this one pulled back. This is the weekly, pulled back, little inside bar. They're trying to get it back above this red bar here. Let's see where we close at the end of the week for this one. And then the daily chart, you know, same pretty much pattern. Ah, oh, look, they popped it back above. So this one's bullish again, guys. It's breaking out, you know, but shallow pullback. Does it go? And, I, you know, I'd like to see more. If the, oh, man, let me show you something. If this was more straight up like that and then this pattern, oh, my gosh. That's that that'd be a nice bullish pattern, but see how it flattened out here. This is kind of a bearish pattern here. So just to you know give you some chart work here. But yeah, if this thing takes off, we're probably gonna go right back to the double top, and then uh, I you know again these are markets, guys. You wake up one day and we're just tanking for no reason, or or they have something something blew up somewhere and things are just going. As in like remember uh, was that Cyprus, that little country or whatever, whatever that was that one day. Where we tanked for like three days. Cypress is about to explode. And everyone's like, oh, who? Cypress Hill? What? You know? So you, you got to watch out for that. So it's a weekly chart, though. Nothing wrong. You, like, you know, if it was a nice up move and then pull back and then go. But, you know, honestly, we had three, four weeks of a pullback. Let's see if we go. And, uh, you know, we play it, you know, take it every, each and every day, guys, is a new piece of the puzzle, in my opinion. All right. So the IYT, the USO. USO came back with a vengeance today. <laughs> you know? I mean, this is the USO guy. See how it gets back above the line? You know, it goes back into the 382. Look at that, 382. You have a little bit of a double bottom here. You had great support. You know, I would have loved this area in here. And then may, maybe pull it, you know, do something with an option. A bull call spread, I guess it would be. And then pop back up and we would have been out today. So you got, but, shall, you know, again, shallow retrace. We're back above. Nothing wrong again, guys. Weekly chart. Uh, weekly chart, same thing. You know, we were going, we were going for the moving averages. It barely missed it. Popped above or back above that line as well. Let's see where we close on the weekly on this one. The UUP, the UUP was down a little bit, but you know, another roller coaster. They're pulling it back still. Weekly chart, you can see weekly chart. It's it's getting a little bit weaker, but again, just like the spine, and everything above the moving averages. Slight bullish pattern. You know, it's slightly bullish. Could be bearish, but. Uh, Nothing wrong at this point. Pulling up a little bit high on the weekly, you know, getting a little stretched. Nothing crazy though. But uh, but and then the uh, daily pattern, you know, we had a pretty good bullish pattern there, and then it popped up. Now we have a slight bearish pattern. But overall, you know, up and sideways and slightly, you know, it's about it's it's like a 50-50 shot. We need to get it back above the 20 MA if you're bullish. If you're bearish on the on the uh, dollar, then you need to get below, you know, consolidate maybe another four or five days, and then crack this 50 MA. And start heading down. You do have a couple gaps, a couple pivots, gap fill down in here, and of course you have the 200 moving average down in this area too, around 25 bucks. So honestly, it could fall. This goes down, oil goes up, you know, all that good stuff. If it stays, you know, you know, with the uh, in sync or you know, go when dollars up, oil and gold usually go down. But sometimes with the central bankers and all that good stuff, you know, anything's possible in these markets, guys. And then the GLD up 35 cents today. It ran right into a, not a brick wall, but a pretty good wall here. You have the gap window. You have the 50 MA. You have the 3A2 retrace. If you go to the weekly chart, 
you know, it went up into, yeah, same thing, 382 retrace. No moving averages on the weekly, but once you get up here on the weekly, 120, 121, if it, if it gets through there, I mean, it could overshoot like a lot of stuff does. And if it, if, if it overshoots through this area and gets up in the here, this is a cold down short. You know, at least give it a shot. If it breaks above it, then you got to stop out. And then, it, you know, it's probably going for double top and then maybe start thinking about it there. But uh, but nothing wrong with gold down. We were adding as it was going down, 115, 112.50, and then right around 108. So far, so good on this trade. I'm hoping to get back to maybe, I would love to see 121, and then, man, 124 would be even nicer. And then that would be it for this one. Maybe, maybe well, maybe, we'll have to see how it gets there. But I, I don't mind gold down in here. You know, if you're in at 110, 115, 112, even if you got lucky enough to get it at 108, 107.50, man, it's not bad. But we're not out of the woods yet. You know, let's see if we can get above that 50 MA. I mean, remember this. We got above that 50 MA. Remember, it came right back in, retested, and just flushed. So is it going to do the same thing as it was here? Only time will tell. So anyways, guys, hey, thanks for coming uh, watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. Like I said, follow me on Stock Twits and Twitter and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have a Facebook page. I, I'm trying to post a little more to that, but, you know, for only me, it's a lot to do, all this posting and stuff. But uh, if you have an email uh, or comments or anything, email, you know, me a comment at stockbookie at gmail.com. We'll take a look at it or even a uh, uh, chart you want me to look at. And I know I've, I've had a lot of requests lately, so I am a little bit behind. I have been doing a little more charts. And I know there's a guy who wants me to do Expedia, and I'll do that. Uh, I'll do that possibly tonight or tomorrow. So, all right, guys. Hey, thanks for coming again. God bless. See you on the charts.